changed. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring. It's all about the game and how you play it. And nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the cerebral assassin, the sadistic son-in-law, the chairman of WWE. So many incredible moments created by this man and etched in history. If there is one thing we have learned about Triple H, he will do anything and everything to advance his career. When a man is in the throes of battle against Triple H, they need to remember that he can brandish his trusty sledgehammer at any time. It's just another reason why he's known by the moniker, The Game. Also, the cerebral assassin and the King of Kings. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. is going up high. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Triple H using his speed right there. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Putting it all on the line. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most.
Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael. But let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Clearly on a mission here. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. John Cena starting to show signs of fatigue. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. And I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. If I was Triple H, I'd tone down the showboating a little bit. The damage has been done. Showing off his quick hands. Got him good with the punch. John Cena is in a bad way, guys. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. The damage has been done, guys. I don't see how he can possibly recover from this beating he's taken. Yeah, this is hard to watch Ouch. now. I mean, he is taking quite a beating in there. The punch lands. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Showing some quickness there. Man, Triple H, what offense. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. A dangerous situation out here at ringside. This could sort your career. Oh, right on the barricade, gut first. I got to say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Coles. His shoulders are down. Look at this. He's got the shoulders down. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation. Table in play! Oh my goodness! This might be it! Oh my! He's inflicting some serious pain here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. 
Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are... He's got him covered. Look, Triple H is on the attack now. Oh, I think this man means he goes for the cover. And look at the quickness by Cena. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Nicely done. And here we go. Triple H with the cover. Oh, somehow. Big match John is not going to go down that easily. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. John Cena with the offense. Inside the ring now. That'll make your heart beat. Oh boy, he is rolling. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, got the shoulders down. Two! Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. Oh, Triple H dodged that one. There's the inside, Craig. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Great offense by John Cena. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Drop kick! Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. He lands the strike with great accuracy. There's no recovering from that. John Cena got him there. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Drop kick! Goes down hard. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Triple H, look at it. Perfectly executed. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Absolutely punishing. Can he do it here? From behind. So He's looking for the win. Looking to steal one. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two, three. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. I don't like 
to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. And he picks up the win. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see.